Hello, hello, hello. What's up, what's up, what's up, guys? So basically, it's eight o'clock. It's done, my day is done. I mean, not so far, because I still have some things to do in, um, in my ability to, again, expand my potential like I was talking to you guys and reaching out to people that I can help and learning from more, 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 more interesting people. And I'm loving doing that on Blab. So this is my daily vlog number two. And I'm just, you know, leaving the office, amazing place at Vodafone. Portugal. Hey guys, what's up, what's up, what's up? So I'm back to my home office and I'm noticing that what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's becoming my trade line, my tagline. Man, I'm tired. I can tell you that I'm tired. My throat is giving me some hard time. Uh, you know, but hey, I'm doing whatever it takes to get this hustle going, to do a great job at my company. So focus to keep that project that we are working on like crazy with Vodafone, to keep that project going. Today we did... Um, a cool demo about the features that we've been developing for this release of this product it's going to be rocking the internet of thing space in the automobile industry it's going to be awesome um, we did a cool demo um, people are excited we cannot wait to see this live in production in the live environments with clients starting using this stuff can't wait to show you guys that as well and to share what the hell I'm working on. For now, that's it. Um, now, what are the struggles that I'm going through and the challenges? Well, when you're leading a team and when you're working on a project that is you know, under such tight timelines, it's very easy to, um, to fall into the mistake of Entering that whatever it takes mentality and starting start work like crazy, sprinting like crazy. And if that's what you're going to do like all day, every day, and you don't know for how long, it's very hard to keep people motivated. Um, I am a motivated guy. Um, and even for me, uh, it's tough to keep the, the pace going. So how do I do it? Or how are we trying to solve this challenge and going through this struggle well basically one of the first and fundamental things that we are working on is having a plan a plan of action around hey who should be doing what what's the estimated effort of these activities um how can we solve this in regards to the timeline that it's this is going to be delivered can we you know bring more resources into the team so we can share the the, the, the effort the, um, the effort with, uh, with other guys so we don't have to work like crazy all the time but yeah it comes to a point where um, all these solutions um, are out and you have to go with with that whatever it takes mentality and just get it done because yeah the the product has a time to market and you have this opportunity to get it done to get it out there or else your competition is going to be there first and you'll be like the second guy and nobody remembers the second or the third or the fourth guy right you need to enter the marketplace make an impact make yourself noticed uh turn your customers into raving fans and just blow them away and that's what we are working on that's what we are doing um that's what self focus does in several projects around the world but most of those projects are with vodafone we work with them and we're working on uh, very exciting projects in the Internet of Things space. But yeah, uh, struggles, challenges. Yeah, the first challenge is, yeah, again, keeping the team motivated and keeping the team uh, aligned with this common vision and making everybody aware of how will we be able to do this. And this is a big international project, so uh, there's... A lot of people involved, so it's not easy to be uh, able to make sure that everybody's on the same page and all the dependencies are taken care of. But yeah, um, that's it, I think. 
So, um, what else? What else? What else, man? I mean, I'm just tired and I would I wish that I could just go to sleep, but when you have a strong why behind you, a reason why for you to keep on going, man, you cannot afford to sleep, bro. Not until you figure your journey out. Not until you are in a place where you're using 100% of your potential, your skills, and you're making an impact in the world. And I know that I'm not using still all 100% of what I'm capable of in regards to my business skills, my marketing skills, my sales skills, my leadership skills. And I cannot, and I will not rest until I will, and until I understand how can I deploy all that I know and expand all that I know and and use all that stuff to make a meaningful difference in the world and turn that those skills and that and that talent into money um, because that's what I want to do, man. And that's what I think that you guys, if you guys are following me on this journey, uh, you guys should be people who are motivated to see that Money is not the end goal, but money should be the applause that you get by the impact and the, the amount of value that you're bringing into the marketplace. And I'm obsessed about, hey, how can I expand my potential so I can make the biggest impact in the world and in the marketplace, help as many people as I can with my skills and turn all that impact, all that value into money to the point where my bank manager calls me and say, hey man, we cannot handle that much money in your account. No, that's my goal, dude. And that leads us to a very important thing, which is, you know, you sharing your motivation, what makes you motivated, uh, and being open about it and share that uh, with the world. Or else, hey, how will you, you know, get what you want if you do not share it? So it's 11 p.m. What the hell am I going to do now? Well, what I'm going to do now is, again, work on something that will expand my potential. So what can I do? So that's, there's several things that I can do. Um, let's decide. Let's decide, man. Well, I guess that I'm going to enter the John Carlton's Marketing Rebels site. I joined, I'm excited about it. And see if I can listen to a case study um, of someone who's on that site because John always interviews very, very interesting people and there's something cool to learn on that. From, from those interviews. So yeah, I'm going to check those interviews out. Because as you guys probably know, I'm, always, I'm, I'm, I'm also working on this course or on this project. It is about helping young professionals, young graduates turn what they know, the, those skills that they have, and turn that into money in the marketplace. 